Now, as I recall, and I don't recall a lot, last year we met in your backyard. Is that right, Matt? That's, that's right. Wonderful. We had a wonderful time. I think Sona was a little overserved, if I recall. Okay. Because you make a powerful cocktail and then Sona showed absolutely no restraint. That's very true. And you know what? I think it's going to be the same thing this time. What was the cocktail last year? It was spectacular. It was called the Chilled Chum. Okay. Yeah. And it was made of chilled uh, the the uh, bits of fish that are used to attract sharks. I, I, yeah, I believe you said it looked like little mouse hearts. Yeah. Pulverized it, No, it was actually hearts. amazing. It was great. It was fantastic. I will, I'm being perfectly honest with you. Last year's drink was amazing and has a lot to, um, this year's drink is going to have a hard time. This looks quite different. What is this? This is called the Ginger Menace. Okay. <laughs> and these are little Conan heads. Oh, look at that. It's got the, either that's a pompadour or a tumor. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it can be both. <laughs> okay. Uh, beautiful looking. Great presentation, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, that's really nice. This is um, bootleg Cuban rum. God. Aperol and ginger beer with a little bit of fresh ginger and lemon. And there's uh, also, just because I know you like dazzly drinks, there's some edible glitter in here. Oh, oh that's fantastic. God. Yeah. That's, I, I, I mean, I'm like Hemingway, only I demand glitter in my drinks. <laughs> well, but cheers. in every other way. Thank you for making this. Yeah, yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. Cheers. This is, look at that. I like the little Conan that you made out of, um, looks like a sectioned grapefruit. And then here to test it. Is there some shit on the ice cube? Yeah, that's a little uh, cowboy. That <laughs> my, on the ice cube. My, gra what? Uh, my grandpa had this little logo for his company of a little cowboy. And you can get like little wax stamps made and you just run it underwater and press it into the ice. Oh, that's fantastic. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> it's not stupid at all. <laughs> I love it. I love this promotion for Yellowstone <laughs> in my drink. Okay, here we go. Here's my first sip. Oh, that's nice. You know what, Matt? You know I'm not a fan, so this, <laughs> I mean this with all honesty and sincerity, you make an amazing cocktail. Oh, thank you. This is really good. Uh, I mean, it I, is not only aesthetically pleasing, but good Lord. I knew you liked good. rum. I love rum. Yeah, and this is communist rum, so you know it's good. Uh, I love communist rum. Yeah. What? I love, it's the people's rum. Yeah. yeah. It's the rum um, we've brought down the, the pigs. <laughs> And uh, I can't drink it. With oh, you, what is your problem? <laughs> so oh look what I did. God. I took out mine. And I, I know, but you put it in. You put it in your drink, and I'm still. I'm gonna drink this drink. Sona, it's not your fault. It's a little top heavy. It is. As am I. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. This is fantastic. I do love a rum drink, and I just want to put it out there. If you ever see me at a bar, and uh, you want to um, strike the right note, I love. Uh, I love me rum. I'm part pirate in that way. I don't. Uh, pillage, I don't plunder, and I have no uh, courage. And um, well, there's <laughs> what actually, makes you a pirate? The rum part. Okay. I like to drink me rum. Okay. And then I like to fall asleep listening to my own podcast, <laughs> 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 which to me says pirate all the way.